traction in every aspect. Even this city has its own share of magical experiences, including a very close canopy. We have a fence, but sometimes they break out of the fence. So when you do your morning walk, you might find a lion. Please be careful. They are not tamed. They are wild. And I hope you will find time to enjoy magical Kenya in her full splendor. Karibuni sana, Kenya. <coughs> Thank you very much, Brother Francis Atwoli for your invitation and for your many kind words. It is indeed true that I have been available and ready to participate in matters pertaining to Kenyan workers and I've honored your invitations to be with you at important events. But remember, uh, Francis, you didn't say everything. <laughs> Maybe I will add on that too. You remember we had a conversation when I came and I, and I explained, I took time to explain to you and the leadership of our Kenyan workers that you not only represent the people who are working, but you also represent the jobless. Otherwise, the people who don't have jobs will have nobody to represent them. And I explained to you that I am going to work on a program to have more people, to have jobs, so that you have a bigger number to represent. <laughs> and I took a long time to explain what we are going to do to create job opportunities so that we can have more workers, more people, earning a decent wage. And that is the reason why I told you there are three things that I am going to do in my tenure. That, number one, we will have a robust housing program. Not because we are looking for houses necessarily, but because housing creates millions of jobs. And I want to report to you, Secretary General and the leadership of the labor movement here, that in the last eight months, we have created 120,000 jobs from our housing plan. I will encourage you to go and recruit those people to be members of your movement. Number two, we are also going to create more jobs around the digital space, the technology space. As I talk to you, Parliament today is passing the NGCDF bill that will create opportunity for ICT hubs in every ward in Kenya because we are seeking to create digital jobs in every village in Kenya. Again, so that we can have more members of this movement. And number three, I was having a conversation with the Director General, and he was explaining to me how he found a conversation in Berlin about Kenya's engagement with the German government on bilateral labor agreement that will facilitate more Kenyans to work in Germany as we work on our bilateral labor agreements so that we can make the labor or migrant workers not a problem but a solution. So again, we are working in that space to increase the number of people, whether they are working locally, 
whether they are working in foreign and whether they are working uh, in remote locations, the whole concept 